Hi guys, I'm Julia Santucci, and today is a very special day. Here with Icons Wanted, we're going to talk about one of the most famous literary icons. We know him for his passion, for his love of alcohol and women, for being true, but most of all, for his writing. He won a Pulitzer Prize and then a Nobel Prize. Who am I speaking of? But Ernest Hemingway. And behind me is the first apartment he lived in. Let's go take a look. The Latin Quarter is very different now from what it was then. While Ernest lived here, the streets were filled with trash and it was very inexpensive to live here. Today, it is a very tourist area, having the beautiful Rue Mouffetard around the corner. As you can see, we are in Paris, in the 5th arrondissement, in the Latin Quarter, currently at 74 Rue de Cardinal Lamont. This is where Ernest Hemingway lived with his first wife, Hadley Richardson. I think we should take a look for ourselves, go inside, and go to the third floor. Here we are, at the exact door where Ernest and Hadley lived for their apartment building. They lived here during 1922 to 1923. It was during this time that Ernest met Gertrude Stein. She introduced him to many expatriates and artists, also known as the Lost Generation. Directly behind me is now a fashion store, but at the time, it was a dance club. This was supposedly the inspiration for Ernest in his book, The Sun Also Rises, when Lady Brett Ashley met Jake Barnes at a dance club. Jake Barnes reflected Hemingway in the sense that they were both journalists, also both suffered war wounds, and had a very hard time staying monogamous. And in Midnight in Paris, Woody Allen demonstrates Ernest as opinionated, ready to box anyone, and always with a drink in hand. Whether roaming the Jardin de Luxembourg or hanging with Sylvia Beach at Shakespeare and Company, one thing is for sure, no one could call his life boring. It is pretty crazy to be right here where Ernest used to walk, go down the street with his morning coffee on the way to his writing studio. This area is so cool. This building is definitely historic. I think we should go inside and take a look. I can't give you the code though, but this is why you're watching. This is unbelievable. This is where Ernest Hemingway lived, in this apartment building where he walked all the time. This is like a dream come true. I think we should go upstairs. This is it. We are on the third floor. This is the door that faces the street where Ernest Hemingway lived. A million stories happened here behind this door. Let me tell you one of them. Did you know Ernest had a mistress at this time who later became his second wife? Well, later on, both Ernest and Hadley wrote about their experiences while living at this apartment. Ernest wrote A Movable Feast and Hadley wrote The Paris Wife. It is fascinating to hear two different sides of the same story. Well, it is very apparent why Paris is such a big part of Hemingway's words and life after following through his footsteps today. This is Icons Wanted from Paris. Thank you so much for living one of my dreams with me. Have a great day.